wrestling is a sport of supreme strength, stunning speed and astute agility with all three attributes combining to create a professional wrestler. Now I wouldn't class any of these particular attributes as one of my own strengths, but tonight, at perhaps my own detriment, I step into a wrestling ring to try my hand at professional wrestling. Ever since a young age, I have been obsessed with wrestling. It has always been an escape for me, a place where ordinary people can become heroes, where good triumphs evil, and where no matter who you support, everybody who watches can appreciate a five star match. I remember as a child telling my dad the dream that one day I would emulate my heroes and step into a wrestling ring. Well tonight, I get to live that dream. So here I am ready to go, I'm in the wrestling ring, I'm kitted up from my ring boots to my knee pads and I'm ready to train with this guy. Great. I'm Dutch, I've been wrestling for a number of years. I'm the head coach at Lincoln Fire Factory Wrestling and the current European champion. So, the first thing I'm gonna teach you is how to slam somebody. But nobody in their right mind is gonna let you do it to him. For the purposes of today, he is going to let me. He's gonna regret that decision. Get their arm over your arm. On the left hand side, keep it snug and he can't get away from you. Then you're gonna scoop under, pick him up, show the world how strong you are, slam him through the floor, like so. The body slam is a cataclysmic move made famous by legendary wrestler Hulk Hogan, who once body slammed the 520 pound Andre the Giant. But now it was my turn to get body slammed by the 240 pounds Dutch. Right, now it's your turn. Okay. The rule of wrestling, you take it before you try it. Okay, right. Oh. Here we go. The feeling of your body hitting the mat is the equivalent of being hit by a car traveling at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Now I've never been hit by a car before, but I can assure you that you feel a great amount of pain as you are body slammed in the center of a wrestling ring. You're told to spread your weight, to try and spread the impact across your shoulders, but the impression you make on the mat is still mighty as your back, shoulders, and feet hit the ground with a crash. Next up was the running power slam. This move was made famous by the British Bulldog and put away many opponents during his countless title reigns. I'm not going to ask you to run at me. I'm just going to ask you to feel the experience of a running power slam. Okay, okay. Okay. All I'm going to do is pick you up and drive you through the floor. Oh, oh. Oh. This hurts. Oh. This move hurt even more than the body slam. The velocity of the charge followed by the spin in midair, and then the crushing weight of Dutch over me made it even more devastating. The key to winning a match can be as simple as disorientation. Disorientating someone, get them upside down and let the blood rush to the head. Peel them over and pick them up. When you're ready, bring them back to the floor with a back. The jackhammer was the signature move made famous by former WWE and WCW World Heavyweight Champion Goldberg. I think you can take a jackhammer. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. You ask for this? Dutch was right. Being held upside down in a vertical suplex position certainly discombobulates you, but the torque in the spin and the collision as your body collides with the ground is what gets you the most here. The whiplash effect of being spun in midair and then condemned to the ground. 
There you go, there are a couple of manoeuvres that you'll be taking should you train to become a professional wrestler. I'm Ron Renfrey and this is LSJ. No! Oh.